In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use visualization to increase productivity. So let's rise. Perspective plans with new videos and podcasts weekly. Join our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash perspective plans for exclusive videos and more. Visit perspectiveplans.com for all of your planner and stationary needs. Only at Perspective Plans, helping you plan for what's to come. Reaching your objectives may be facilitated by visualizing them. A technique known as visualization is employed by certain experts to specify objectives, rank tasks, and even forecast outcomes. By knowing the methods to envision your achievements, you may make more consistent progress toward your objectives and develop more reasonable ones. This video defines visualization techniques, goes over their advantages, and offers a list of 15 ways that you can try. So what do I mean by visualization techniques? You can practice visualization methods to assist you in reaching your objectives. These methods might help you imagine your objectives by encouraging you to engage in your imagination. You may find the bravery, confidence, and drive to strive towards your goals by visualizing your future achievement clearly in your mind. You may experiment with a variety of these methods such as creating a checklist or even painting a picture. Here are some of the pros of applying visualization methods. Gaining self-assurance. Using these strategies can help you become more confident, which is one of its benefits. These methods frequently include repeatedly visualizing scenarios until they become doable and even realistic, which boosts your confidence in achieving them. This might provide you the authority to make choices that move you closer to your objectives. Lowering anxiety and tension, these sorts of methods also have the advantage of reducing anxiety and tension related to your future. You might feel more upbeat and even prepared for the future as you develop a clear vision of your objectives and the confidence to attain them. Your morale and productivity may both benefit from less stress and worry, which will enable you to accomplish your goals more quickly and efficiently. Boosting your drive, you may also get more motivated by using visualization. You can feel more driven when you can clearly see what you want to achieve and have the self-assurance to work toward it. This can assist you in reaching your objectives without feeling depressed, frustrated, or even burned out. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Perspective Plan Show, where I help you boost your productivity and stay organized so that you can easily handle whatever life throws at you. I upload new videos and podcasts every single week, so be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss anything. Check for workbooks, printables, and stickers at PerspectivePlans.com. And last but not least, this episode would not be possible without our Perspective Plans patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now let's get into this episode. Tip one, sketch out your objectives. Visualization may also be creatively used for painting or even sketching your objectives. This helps you achieve clarity by providing you with a visual depiction of your objectives. Once your artwork is complete, hang it up someplace that you can see often. Tip two, imagine becoming successful. Visualization of success is another method. This easy strategy may boost your self-confidence and motivation to strive toward your objectives by having you visualize what success looks like to you. Try to see as many details as you can in order to maximize the effectiveness of this strategy. Tip three, index cards. Well, index cards are another useful tool for visual aids. To use this strategy, get some writing supplies and even index cards, of course. List all of your objectives on an index card. Every day, go through your deck of index cards and attempt to see yourself doing each task. You may throw away the cards after completing each task or even place them on an accomplishment board to mark your progress. Tip four, triggers for visualization. Additionally, you may set up your triggers for visualization. Sensory clues that make you think about your visualization are known as visualization triggers. You may, for instance, teach yourself to link listening to a certain playlist to doing activities that advance your objectives. Then you can instantly get into a productive and upbeat mentality each time you turn on that music. Tip five, objective images. Making goal visuals is one useful visualizing approach. Goal photos are self-portraits that provide you the impression that you have already reached your objectives. 
For instance, you might snap a photo of yourself in front of the building of the firm you want to work with. For instance, you might snap a photo of yourself in front of the building of the firm you want to work for, if that's your dream employer. This might assist you in seeing your success in the future. If you have tried bullet journaling, time blocking, or just plain old to-do lists, but haven't found the right solution to manage your time, then it's time to try out the Hourly Planner Bundle. This is the ultimate planner with everything you need to manage your schedule and get things done today. Featuring 300 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, 100 plus event and holiday labels, and over 2,000 plus planner stickers in 14 unique colors. All this and more can be found in our hourly planner bundle, available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Paperback edition, now available at Amazon helping you plan for what's to come. Tip six, imagine yourself as someone else. Seeing yourself like someone you respect is another tactic you might want to use. Imagine yourself as the individuals you see representing the kind of job you want to pursue or the objectives you want to accomplish. With the use of this strategy, you may have a better understanding of the prerequisites for every objective as well as what it could take to accomplish each one. Tip seven, mental warm up. Another popular method of visualization is mental rehearsal. Well, mental rehearsal may be achieved by seeing yourself accomplishing a goal or even a job. This can help you mentally rehearse achieving results, which can increase your confidence in your ability to succeed. Additionally, it could make objectives seem more doable and even practical. Tip eight, cheerful location. The happy place visualization method is used by some individuals as a stress reliever. This method is visualizing a peaceful, joyful environment in your mind and letting your imagination, well, run wild. This method might help you decompress when you put in a lot of effort to reach your objectives. The method may help you be less stressed and even more composed while you work toward your objectives. Create a budget that works for you and track your debt, monthly bills, savings, expenses, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, and more. This budget planner is perfect to take control of your finances, even if you are a beginner and just started your financial journey. Featuring 200 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, over 1,500 planner stickers in 14 unique colors, and 50 plus quote layering stickers that allow you to customize the background to match your planner style. All this and more can be found in the Budget Planner Bundle, available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Paperback edition, now available at Amazon. Helping you plan for what's to come. Tip nine, affirmations and verses. Some individuals find that making affirmations is a fun way to practice visualizing. Statements that support your desired result from the standpoint that you've already attained it are known as affirmations. When crafting affirmations, it's critical to choose language that is uplifting in order to sustain your drive and of course your mindset. I'm happy to own a business that allows me to work from home and pursue my passion for art and even productivity is an example of an affirmation to try. Tip 10, mission or mission board. Making a vision board is an enjoyable and useful visualization tool. An app or even a software application may be used to construct a digital vision board. Or you can use printed photographs, magazine clippings, and of course glue to create a physical vision board. You can even check out my digital vision board template and I'll leave that down below. Choose pictures that motivate you and reflect your objectives. After finishing, set up your vision board on a visible surface, such as your desk. Bonus, if you made it this far into the episode, let's get into our bonus tip, journal. Journaling is a popular method of visualization as well. Using a Word doc or even journaling software may be used, or you can utilize a notepad and pen. Make an effort to journal regularly. Write down anything that's on your mind, including plans, disappointments, and even your ambitions. You can even utilize these journaling prompts to get you in the writing spirit. What can I do right now to get closer to my objectives? What have I completed so far? What have I completed so far to get me closer to my objectives? Is there anything preventing me from getting after my objectives? What feelings come to mind when I consider my objectives? What would my ideal day in the life entail? Here's a few extra tips for your visualization journey. 
you can do a lot of things to improve your visualization. The following advice can help you improve the efficacy of your techniques. Develop the visualization habit. Forming the practice of routinely visualizing for another piece of advice. You may improve your visions and even get closer to your objectives over time by developing a visualizing habit. Make a connection with your feelings. To increase the power of your images, you may also attempt to establish a connection with your feelings. Making a deep relationship to your images via emotional connection will increase your motivation to accomplish your objectives. Give details to help you see your objectives clearly in your mind's eye. It helps to be detailed while developing your visualizations. Consider the particulars of your objectives and the actions you might take to fulfill them. Use all of your senses using every sense while visualizing is one piece of advice. Your visualizations will seem more realistic if you include a range of sensory information. As a result, your vision may have a greater mental impact. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them plan for what's to come. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip on our list. Tip one, sketch out your objectives. Tip two, imagine becoming successful. Tip three, index cards. Tip four, triggers for visualization. Tip five, objective images. Tip six, imagine yourself as someone else. Tip seven, mental warm up. Tip eight, cheerful location. Tip nine, affirmations and verses. Tip 10, mission or vision board. Bonus journal. And of course, our extra tips for your visualization journeys. You may delay, but time will not, Benjamin Franklin. I just want to take a moment to thank our patrons and channel members. This episode would not be possible without your support. Thank you. And if you would like to support the show, visit patreon.com forward slash perspective plans today. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review what tip you'll be using. Keep planning for what's to come, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.